Welcome to the California Community Reinvestment Grants Program Work Plan and Timeline Tutorial. My name is Dahir Nasser and I will be walking through the intent, components, and process for completing the required work plan and timeline. Let's begin. The California Community Reinvestment Grants Program Work Plan and Timeline, or Work Plan, provides a tool for applicants to display the goals and activities, expected outcomes, evidence of completion, and projected completion dates for their proposal in a quick and easy way. The work plan will help CalCRG staff understand what the applicant plans to accomplish during the grant period. Further, the work plan will be analyzed to ensure the project can create necessary impact and is feasible given the timeline. The work plan is a component of the proposal description, implementation, and goals section of the application and will be factored into applicants' final scores. Scores in this section are based on the applicant's ability to demonstrate that the goals describe measurable and achievable outcomes that can be used as performance standards, and overall, achieving the goals will address the needs described in the priority population section of the application narrative. As a reminder, the maximum possible points for this section is 35. Please note the document on your screen titled California Community Reinvestment Grants Program Work Plan and Timeline Overview and Instructions is available on the Cal CRG website and provides a written resource to guide you as you complete your work plan. It covers three sections including how to access, download, and upload your work plan template. It provides an overview of the requirements of the work plan. And it provides guidance for each column in the table. And you haven't seen the table yet, but we're going to get to that in just a second. Now I will go into more detail on the requirements for the work plan and the process for completing the table with some examples. Now I will go into more detail on the requirements for the work plan and the process for completing the table. So here is the work plan template. The template will be available in Microsoft Word format on our CalCRG website. You will need to complete a separate table for each desired impact of proposed services in your proposal. There are examples of desired impacts in the footnote at the bottom of the page here. If you have multiple desired impacts, such as improvement of quality of life and clients as a second option, please complete a separate table. There should only be one desired impact in each table. Next, you will input proposed goals or milestones in this first column here. I've inputted three goals as an example. The first goal, recruit key management and other qualified staff. The second goal, recruit clients. And the third goal, th three client cohorts, finish support groups and healing circle program. Next, you will input key action steps for each goal in this column here. And so three key action steps I've included that relate to the first goal of recruiting key management and other qualified staff. Number one, identify qualified candidates. Number two, conduct interviews. And number three, hire and onboard new staff. Next, you will input expected outputs and outcomes in this column here. And so three outputs that relate to the first goal. Number one, hire one program manager. Two, hire two case managers. And three, hire one psychologist. There may not be outcomes for each uh, goal. That's fine. Uh, put, put outputs there. Um, if there are potential outcomes that relate to services provided, 
then please do include those. And uh, when I get to the third goal, I have an example of that. So next you'll input evidence of completion for that milestone. And so for this goal, one example is duty statements. Another is organizational charts. Next, you'll input the title of the person responsible for the completion of that milestone. This may be the executive director or CEO. It could also be a program manager, etc. Next, you'll input the expected goal completion date. Uh, month and year is fine. And you'll input that in this last row. So just to give you a flavor of another goal and how it breaks down throughout the table, uh, the third goal that I have is three client cohorts finish support groups and healing circle program. So the key action steps, one of them would be administer weekly healing circles and support groups. Uh, the expected output from that would be 18 clients will receive 50 hours of education and therapy services. And then 12 clients will achieve and maintain improved quality of life after 12 months. So number one is an output. Number two is an outcome. Evidence of completion, tracking logs, or client success stories. Again, the, t the title of the person responsible, CEO, expected goal completion date, March 2020. So that's the process for completing the work plan template. Once you're done and you have uh, it all filled out, you will upload it into your online application under the required documents section. And just to reiterate, for each desired impact of proposed services here, uh, you'll complete a separate table.